Have you tried alcohol ink tile paintings with Panada Gold yet? If you have not, Jacquard has this incredible gold, and you can see it here, that does just some fabulous stuff. So I'm going to show you how to create this seascape tile, and we'll be using the gold along with it. So stick around and I'll show you all the details. Make sure to watch till the end to see my little trick on how to finish off the sides of your tile. I do have full online classes. You can find them over there at my website at kellylynnart.com where I have over 2,500 students in 85 different countries and over 24 online classes that have lifetime access. So head over there and check those out. I'm Welcome to my YouTube channel where I have new videos every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you click that subscribe button and click the little bell and you'll never miss one. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Creating with Kelly. Today's video will be covering alcohol ink tile painting with Panada Gold. We'll be using Panada inks. That is the exciter pack and it does come with one of the small bottles of the rich gold but I use this stuff so much that I've invested in the four ounce bottles. Oh, I love it. And I think you're gonna love it too if you've never tried this before. So we're gonna use a white glossy tile here. I have a little four by four and I'll be using some of the yellow, sun bright yellow and the Baja blue. So what I like to do sometimes when I'm first blending my colors, I like to get those lighter shades spread out because once you dip into those darker ones, you can see how those really blend really quickly. So I like to just get the complete coverage as much as I can with just using my glove without the brush and you get a little bit less streaks this way. Now just be careful that you don't touch some of the areas that you don't want to have the darker values like up in the sky and I do accidentally do this coming up here as I'm trying to get the edges cleaned up with a little bit of the yellow. So I have, and right there is where I did it. So I, I'm going to use a little bit of alcohol here to see if I can remove that. I didn't mean to do that there, but you know what? Sometimes those mistakes make a painting and it gives me a nice little moodiness in my sky area here when I'm done. Dripping this to the side here and moving that around a little bit. So it looks like some cumulus clouds. So before this dries, I want to use a little bit of the chili pepper red next. And I'm going to mix that in here with a little bit of that green. So we're going to get a more of a brown shade. I think magenta would be a nice color. That actually is in the exciter pack, the chili pepper pepper was purchased separately in one of the four ounce bottles and I had some extra laying around so that's why I'm using that one. Just lightly tapping in, this is my little horizon line here where my islands or my little trees are going to go and now I'm using that small brush just doing a tapping motion up and down and dragging that across to give my horizon line a little bit more definition. Let's throw some little rocks in here down on the front. Now these trees are a little bit bigger. You can see where that bloomed quite a bit there. Again, because I'm using wet ink on wet ink, you'll get more of the bloom. So I can see where I have a little bit of that white tile showing. And if you've used tiles before, this is very random. It sometimes just happens. You'll, I don't know if it's the, the glaze. I'm guessing it's the glazing process of the tile because I will receive a box of tiles and some are fine and just a few out of the entire box will create that little white mark. I thought initially it might have been from bringing it in from outside where it's cooler, not cleaning it with alcohol. Um, so I try to do all of those things just to be safe, bring it into a warmer temperature that you're going to be working with and clean it first with alcohol, just some 91% alcohol. And like I said, sometimes this just does happen. So I, I, my guess is it's the glazing process on the tile itself. So I have a few little dots there, but I'm able to cover that up when we use the gold because the gold is more of a mixative. So I just poured a little bit of that. I don't know if you noticed, I had a little egg carton here and I'd love to use those little plastic egg cartons repurpose them they make great little paint palettes so I just pour a little bit in and I'm, that way I'm able to dip my brush into that gold I'm going to throw a little bit of that in 
here as well. So I have a nice little reflection in the water area. Now look at that. Isn't that amazing how it just separates and does its own thing. It creates its own texture in here. It's crazy. And let's go a little bit heavier. That tended to separate quite a bit up there. So I'm going to go a little bit more creating those tree shapes up here. Now you may have seen on my Instagram page, I did this a couple different times using some different shades or different colors. So it's really fun to play with this and, you know, do some different color combos for a similar, similar style painting more with the ocean, the trees, and using a little bit of that gold. I've done it with white as well. You can use it black. So, you know, it's all part of the fun, just having, having, um, some creative time with your colors because you just never know what they're going to do. Sometimes you'll get some really cool uh, combinations. And I do offer a full online course on a couple of different uh, alcohol ink scenes like this one was with trees with a beautiful sunset. And we do this one on tile. And then we also do the same scene on Yupo paper. So you get to see the difference between the two and we go over everything from start to finish on how I create those. So you might want to check that one out. I'll leave you a link here for my website and you can find all of my online classes right there. And um, they're always on sale on my website for you. So as this gold tends to bloom out a little bit, I am just adding a little bit more. So you just have to babysit that a little bit and you know, if you need to add a little bit more to it, you can do that. I think that looks pretty good like that. Let's go ahead and give this one a quick blow dry. And this will make sure that the inks are then set. And then we're going to add just a few little bit more details. So stick around to the end here and we'll be adding some birds. So now that that's all dry, I'm going to grab a black Sharpie. Now, if this isn't dry completely, you will find you have a hard time writing on these tiles. If it is completely dry, it works so much easier. So uh, make sure that you let that dry, either, either with a blow dryer or you can also let it air dry. But you will just find that if your marker is not working real well, your inks could still be a little damp. So we just put a few little birdies in here. Let's add a little bit of the white gel pen. If I can get my gel pen to work, it doesn't want to work. So I'm going to use the next best thing. And that is a product called Dr. PH Martin's Bleed Proof White. And I will also post a link for you down below again in my Amazon shop where I, I have all of the products I use in my videos listed there. So you can see that really works. It really is a nice bright white. It's a little bit thicker. You might want to stir it when you first get it, but it really does a good job staying nice and bright white. And this is a great thing to use if you have little touch-ups that you need to, to use it on. It does get a little bit more gummy, so it's a little thicker, um, but once you seal your tile or um, cover it with resin, you will not notice that. Now, if you are brand new to inks, you may not know this little trick. Tile is porous usually on the side, so it just sucks up the ink. Black Sharpie works wonderful. It's a little bit easier to control sometimes in the paintbrush, so you don't end up with black uh, paint on your side of your painting. Um, and it's just, like I said, a very quick and easy way just to give your tile a nice color for the edge. And you can make this even shiny by spraying it with a little bit of the varnish or sealing it with resin. And if you want to learn a little bit more about sealing alcohol ink tiles with resin, you can check out my other YouTube video and I'll post a link for you on that in the top right hand corner. So there's my little trick that I wanted to share with you. And I will have to say, you know, some people like to leave it white or if you're going to actually use this with resin and planning on using it for a backsplash or something, you're not going to be able to see those edges anyway because you can fill that in with grout. And if you do decide to use it as a backsplash with a grout, you do need to be very careful because that grout, if especially if it's sanded grout, can scratch the resin. So just keep that in mind as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to click that like button. Give me a comment down below. 
and let me know what colors you plan on trying for your scene. And don't forget to share it on my Instagram page. You can tag me there. I would love to see it. So we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Have a great week.